Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, just working question seven of the January 2022 paper. So this question is the investigation question. Um, a sequence of figures is made from lines of unit length and dots. Um, the lines form a series of octagons and squares, right? Uh, the dots are placed at each vertex, right? So they have the first three figures in the sequence. Figure three of the sequence is shown by itself are two more lines of add more lines of unit length and dots to figure three to correctly represent figure four. Alright, so if you look at what's happening here as you jump from figure one to figure two, the change that has been made, I'm adding two squares and one octagon. If I move from figure two to figure three again, I'm adding two squares and one octagon. So if I want to get figure four, I need to add two squares. So let's see if I can draw this properly. All right, so that's one square. All right, so that's my two squares. And remember, I need to draw an octagon now. So we need to go here, we need to go here and we need to do this this and this right so that's my figure four here i'm adding two squares and an octagon that's my answer there the next part here now the number of dots d and the number of lines that form the perimeter of the shape form a pattern right um so basically they're giving us a table and they want us to complete the table so this here is my figure number this is the number of dots and this is the perimeter of the figure now, if you look, the first thing you all have to do is to identify what is the pattern, right? Now, if we go from figure one to figure two here, right? You are adding eight. When you jump from here to here, we are adding eight again, right? Now, if I were to jump from here to here, technically I should add eight again, right? And that should give me the number of dots as being 30. But let's check that we actually drew figure four so you can come here and count it um let me start from i'm starting from this point here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight sorry nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, right? So I'm getting 32 here as well. So from the diagram, I'm getting 32. The next thing is the perimeter. But if you look at this, when you go from figure one to figure two, your perimeter, you are adding six here. Go from here to here, we're adding six, right? So therefore this here, I should add six and that should give me 26. But let's double check and make sure that's true. So the perimeter is simply the distance around. So let's say I start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Is that correct? Hold on now. 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, 26, right? So I'm getting 26 here. All right, so this should be 26. So that's that's your answer here for two marks. Now, what you should try to do now, right? At this stage, you should try to figure out the formula for the nth figure, right? So what you're trying to do, you're trying to find a relationship between figure number and number of dots. Now, if I look at the number of dots here, you're increasing by the same amount all the time. But if you look at this here, you have one and you have eight, you have two and you have 16, you have three and you have 24, you have four and you have 32. If you look carefully at that pattern, all you're really doing is taking the figure number, right? So the figure number, which is N, and you are multiplying that by eight. That's what you're doing. All you're doing is multiplying by eight, right? So therefore the number of dots is simply eight N, right? So this here is going to be 8n. Now, if you look at the perimeter of the figure now, what's happening there, you keep increasing by 6. So let's try to find a relationship between figure number and perimeter. So your perimeter 
right? Since you're increasing by a constant amount, my equation is expected to have a six somewhere in it. So let's see. Um, if I use six n plus two, let's check that. Eh? If I have figure one and I use that formula, it's gonna be six by one plus two, and you're gonna get eight. So that's true. But let's double check it for a few of them. Eh? Two, for figure two, it'll be six by two plus two. That's six to the 12 and two is 14. Hmm. Okay, it works. Let's try the third one. Six by three plus two. I'm gonna get um, six to the 18 and two, 20. So that works. So this formula seems to be working. So therefore this here is gonna be six N plus two. That's my parameter for figure N. So that's that for two marks. Now, for this PCN, we know what the parameter is. The parameter is 86, right? Your parameter is 86. And you know what the formula is for the parameter. So the parameter is 6N plus 2. So P is 6N plus 2. And the parameter they give us is 86, right? So P is equal to 86. So therefore, all we need to do to figure out the figure number is to put 6N plus 2 is equal to 86. 6n is equal to 86 minus 2. So 6n is equal to 84. Make sure, all right? So therefore, um, all we need to do is to find 84 divided by 6. So n is 84 over 6, and therefore n is equal to 14. So figure not, figure, um, 14 has a parameter of 86. So therefore this here is going to be 14. And the next thing we need to do is figure out the number of dots and that's simply 8 multiplied by n. So we just need to multiply 8 by 14. So 14 by 8 and I'm going to get 112. Right? 1, 1, 2. Right? So the number of dots in figure 14 is 112. So notice these table, these investigation question carries a lot of marks. Eh? Now the last part of the question, they said, um, for any figure n greater than one, the number of dots is greater than the parameter. Determine the value of n for which difference. So when they say difference, they mean d minus p is equal to 36, right? So we know the formulas for d. d we said was 8n. And the parameter we had was 6n plus 2. Yeah, this was 6n plus 2. So what we need to do, we need to work out d minus p, right, is equal to 36. That's what it's telling us. So therefore, the number of dots, which is 8n minus the parameter, which is 6n plus 2, is equal to 36. Now, I put this in brackets here because this is a mistake that students will make. P is actually 6n plus 2, so I should put that in brackets. So this is 8n minus 6n minus 2 is equal to 36. Um, so this is 8n minus 6n is equal to 36 plus 2. 8n minus 6n is going to give me 2n. 36 plus 2 is 38. So therefore, n is equal to 38 divided by 2. So this is 38 over 2. So therefore, n is equal to 19. Right? So therefore, the figure number that gives me a difference of 36 is equal to 19. Right? So that brings us to the end of question 7. Right? Um, if you have not done so as yet, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And yes, I do give online CSEC maths lessons as well as physics, ad maths, and chemistry, all right?